Hello and welcome to highlights of stage six of the Tour de France Fam Avic Zwift 122. 1 kilometers today from Albi to Blagnac. Fans and diners amongst the team buses at the start in Albi. The fallout from yesterday continues after SD Works Sport Director Danny Stam is kicked off the race. He was driving the car that paced Damie Vollering back into the bunch. She was penalized 20 seconds in the general classification. At the start, Yara Castelline back into the polka dot jersey as the leader of the Queen of the Mountains, a classification. A great day for Canyon Tram, who had won the stage the day before with Ricardo Baumfind. Lots of Kopecky still in the yellow jersey as race leader, 49 seconds ahead of Ashley Molman Passio, who is wearing green. The South African second in that classification behind Kopecky. So drink about still in white. This is the stage ahead for the riders. On paper, it looked like a day for the sprinters. But in this Tour de France fam, anything can happen. Four categorized category, four climbs along the route. One green jersey sprint to come in Hammer de Rastel with 29.6 kilometers to go and a flat, fast, technical run to the line. Agnieszka Skaliak Soka of Canyon Tram had gone clear with Sandra Alonso, who had been distanced by the Polish rider. She was then paced back up by Emma Norsgaard of Movistar. Lotta Hentala of the AG Insurance Sudau Quickstep team was then ejected from the race with her sport director for hanging on to the car. Plenty of animation in the bunch behind. Lizzie Dignan was uh, one of the riders going on the attack with uh, her teammates. Amanda Spratt had also tried on multiple occasions. Jade Veal of FDJ Suez, the next rider to go on the offensive. Charlotte Cool, though, was being paced back into the bunch by teammate Megan Jastrab. Unfortunately, a big crash for American Veronica Ewers. She would manage to get up and continue the race, but she would lose a considerable amount of time. Queen of the Mountains leader Yara Castellan had also gone down. She had a nasty gash on her elbow. She was paced back on by her teammate, Julie van der Velde, and made it back into the bunch. Castellan had started the day sixth overall, a minute down on the general classification. The breakaway, though, as they headed towards the final 40k, were looking good. The gap was down by 30 seconds as they hit 30k to go. Grace Brown, one of the FDJ Suez riders who also tried to get clear and make it up to the break. They didn't. Lotte Kopecky and Ashley Mormon Passio, the two riders that really are battling for the green jersey. Mormon Passio will fancy her chances on the Col de Tourmalet on stage eight. Heading towards the final 5k with Toulouse in the distance. It was going to be touch and go whether the breakaway could hang on. Emma Norsgaard, Danish time trial champion, launched a move. It was the end of the day in the break for Sandra Alonso, but Skaliak Soka had managed to stay with her. A real technical run in towards the finish, including some tram lines. A kink right, then left. Did take down multiple riders in the peloton behind. The sprinters, however, made it through. Norsgaard, previously known as a bunch sprinter, was still holding an advantage. Anna Henderson of Jumbo Visma had managed to take a flyer. She was leading out for teammate Mariana Voss. Norsgaard, though, saw that she still had the advantage, launched that famous sprint. And another day that had been earmarked for the sprinters went the way of the breakaway. Norsgaard coming back from a broken collarbone in Strada Bianchi earlier on in the season takes the biggest win of her career with Charlotte Cole leading in the bunch behind, just ahead of yellow jersey Lotta Capecchi. Movistar take their second victory of this year's Tour de France fam. Avic Swift after Liana Lippert had taken the stage on day two. Norsgaard takes it for Denmark. That sprint behind Charlotte Call takes second. Lotta Capecchi bangs a fist on the handlebars. She'll take the yellow jersey though into the Col de Tourmalet. Your top 10 looks like this. Emma Norsgaard from Charlotte Call, Lotta Capecchi, Voss Paladin, Consoni Javilda, Lat Guazzini, and Scaliak Soka hangs on for 10th place.
Another day, another yellow jersey. Lotta Kabeki took the lead on day one. She will be hoping she hands that jersey to teammate Damie Vollering tomorrow. She still leads by 53 seconds ahead of Ashley Mormon Passio with defending champion Annemiek Van Vluten in third. Plenty of contenders still in the top 10. They'll be looking for success tomorrow. The green jersey still on the shoulders of Kopecky. She'll be looking to take that jersey on Sunday after the time trial in Poe. What a day we have ahead of us on stage seven. It's a short one. It is 89.8 kilometers from Lani Mazan to the Col de Tourmalet. One green jersey sprint before we start climbing the famous ascent of the Col d'Aspan. And then up to the Col de Tourmalet. Will the general classification be put out of sight as we will head towards our time trial on Sunday? Toulouse Airport, where Concorde was designed and flew its first ever flight. The riders who will have wings on stage seven to fly here in the Tour de France Femme, Avic Swift. 